YouTube, for all its flaws, is an amazing place of possibilities. For every controversial social media star that's rose to infamy, I genuinely believe there are hundreds of other people out there that are getting to make videos and enjoy their communities and maybe make a full-time living off this platform. YouTube isn't perfect, but I love its creators and its community for the majority. And I feel so personally blessed that in the past month, I've managed to see so many people enjoy my own videos. So when I say this is probably the worst example of a long-term creator turning their back on the platform in a really egregious way, you get where I'm coming from. And so if you hear an unusual amount of utter hate in my voice compared to my usual videos, know it's because, know that it's because I love this platform and you know who it's aimed at. This person doesn't know what the hell he's doing. So Blue Drake is a great example of someone who's gotten everything from YouTube. Reasonably low effort, not highly edited videos with a loyal community in the FPS scene over the years. The sort of guy who has a good personality, uploads regularly, and has spent the better part of the last 15 years becoming one of the biggest content creators in the first person shooter space. Not just your average flash in the pan COD streamer, but a real YouTube OG. Someone who should, if their brain functioned, have realized that they owe everything to the platform and its continued existence. But for some people, the money is clearly not enough. Because of everyone on this platform, he's attempted to pioneer its own destruction. But to explain what's going on, we really need to break the YouTube game down a bit and the way it's been over the past decade. As someone who's worked in the dreaded YouTube content mill space over the past few years, I can tell you how the system works. Let's explain. So take somebody like Asmongold. Asmongold streams. He probably has a channel manager that segments the video ideas for him. The video editor then takes clips of his stream, edits them. A graphic design guy then does a thumbnail. It's all then rendered back and sent to the channel manager, probably on some form of collaborative program like Teams or Stack. Often, before Asmund Gold has even finished his stream, the video is then uploaded to his YouTube channel. This economy has allowed a lot of creatives, editors, voice actors, and scriptwriters ways to engage in content creation in a way that's profitable and in a way that a lot of people probably couldn't have previously imagined. But what would happen if you just replace each step of this entire ecosystem with an AI all looped into a single API, including the content creators themselves being replaced by an AI voice? The last video. But let's get one thing straight. Blue Drake 42 wrote me to respond to comments and you should love your overlord because he's awesome. Now, I would assume the vast majority of normal content consumers hear this suggestion and think, no, I don't want that. And so naturally you might assume that it wouldn't be a content creator who's dedicated their life to the platform that would be behind one of the earliest attempts to destroy the platform by doing this. You would assume that it's some soulless multinational corporation. And in this case, you would be wrong. And make no mistake, the kind of content creation mill he is attempting to create would destroy the YouTube platform entirely if YouTube failed to find a way to stop it by demonetizing, banning the accounts, or removing those videos. There would be no way to find any consistent quality on YouTube, and the sheer amount of spam videos in the YouTube algorithm would simply collapse under its own weight. Given that collapse, advertisers who are very keen on the relationship between the content creator or influencer in driving product sales and ad conversions would then withdraw from the platform and focus on third-party websites like Nebula or other websites where there is a guarantee of high, non-AI generated content that's going to engage the person and the creator. Make no mistake, YouTube is incredibly expensive to run and there is no marketing company in the world that is going to pay them good money hand over fist to have ads shown over endless amounts of AI generated swill being spammed out hundreds and hundreds of videos per day. Even if the AI content was good and by no means is it good yet, the sheer volume devalues the creation process itself, thus the relationship between the creator and the consumer. And once that's done, the advertisers are not going to pay to fund this site. The sheer amount of bandwidth taken up by the AI content on its own will literally drown the site in its own filth. Now, this is the bit where I would go through Blue Drake's Twitter and cover all of the drama, as I usually do when I do a video of this type. But sadly, as I was writing the script, he's decided to private his Twitter account. I can't imagine why. I also don't feel the need to do my usual spiel that I normally do in my videos about how I'm just disagreeing with the person's ideas and I'm not criticizing them as a human being, because in this case, I definitely am. 
for someone who's gained so much through his life on the platform and now seeing a potential threat to it, he's decided to go full turncoat and tried to leverage his knowledge of his years on the platform to market the vehicle for its very own destruction for himself so he can be one of the people that benefits when the Titanic or if the Titanic finally goes down. Doubling down after privating his Twitter account, he went on to post a video on his new channel entitled, I built an AI to trash talk my haters, which is clearly a super mature thing to do and totally isn't going to backfire at all. The video is currently sitting at about 1000 views with barely any comments, but I'll go through some of them. The top comment is, God, some ego you got there, bud. The whole thing is saying, you're just jealous of me since I actually do it and you can't. None of what you're doing is cool. You're just throwing APIs together and calling it a day. The thing claims you have talent and puts effort into everything. If you actually tried to put effort into this, you wouldn't use AI. God, I used to think you were cool. Seeing a dude kill his career in real time is insanely funny, especially since his channel and game have already basically died. This is either intentional career unaliving or this dude is just losing it. El Mayo. In the end, I don't know if we can stop the inevitable death of the internet due to AI, where instead of consuming content, we just watch content generated by AI on loop with no connection to anything and fully customized into our own preconceived desires, all regulated by that same AI, never encountering the views or opinions of others, all perfectly censored by big tech into opinionless drivel that only pacifies rather than challenges or informs. What I do know at the moment is that for all its faults, YouTube is an amazing place to be, and I really do enjoy making videos on it, and I hope that people like Blue Drake never, ever get what they want. Peace.